right down in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which is Cyrus Mountain Avenue, right here at Elmore Avenue, and then you have to a chicken man turned ISIS. FBI's across the street. You can see some of them in my camera. Bombing this morning in Elizabeth, New Jersey, the gun battle. But of course, the forces, the good one. The last news I had was the company said, Come to Elizabeth, the police. I had to come to Elizabeth. For many reasons. We are funding the America first American. Fried chicken. Now, I don't know whether he worked there, but he on top of the American fried chicken. Uh, you might see it. This is the house. This house. FBI and uh, police and ATF have been going in and out all day long. So, that's the news we're here covering this year with the rest of the news. It's a uh, day to pause and wonder. But well, what's next? The person can live on top of the chicken, burger, seafood, sub, and ice cream shop, and turn tariffs. What do we have to look for? Again, with Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News. Again, this is Bassa News. I'm, you know, of course, when the call came out early this morning, from Saturday, we were wondering would they ever apprehend the police bringing terrorists to justice. Well, this morning there was a gun battle in Linden, New Jersey, where we, where they were able to bring the terrorists to justice. I, you know, thought about coming out here early today, but then I said, let me call my friend Salam Ishmael, who Elizabeth is his home. Newark, New Jersey is mine. And uh, I said, well, let me talk to someone from a friendship level, of course, and a buddy level, a partner level, but also Salam has always been all my life that I know him, has been a Muslim. And I just want to get some of his comment. Salam, introduce yourself to the camera. Islam Ismail, I'm the director of the National United Youth Council Incorporated, based here in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Islam, uh, I know that this touched you a great deal. Uh, you, you from Elizabeth, New Jersey. This yes. is your home. Mama raised you and the rest of your brothers and sisters right here in Elizabeth. You know, I, I can feel your sympathy. Mm -hmm. What, as a person, and of course, this is something that we don't like to bring up, but again, well, we will bring it up, but yeah. the idea is that you you are a Muslim too. Yeah. I mean, so I how does this reflect the community of Islam well, right first, here in Elizabeth, New Jersey? First, first and foremost, that I think that um, as an advocate and a community worker here in Elizabeth and, and also a Muslim, um, certainly we denounce any kind of actions that are anti-Muslim or uh, Islamophobia. This is something that we, we, we don't tolerate one way or the other. I think um, our city has touched, the whole world is watching our city because of what happens to a deranged, angered, crazed young man who decided to participate um, in whole or uh, in part to a, what is called a terrorist act. Um, the, the day those, those pipe bombs were discovered at the, uh, the Elizabeth train station was around the time I was expecting to also arrive in Elizabeth from New York on that same train station. Sure, sure. And fortunate enough, uh, two people that were hanging around at the train station found those pipe bombs and the pipe bombs was the, uh, dismantled by the Elizabeth Police Department. But I say that to say anybody, I'm a Muslim, anybody could have got caught up 
if those bombs had went off. Sure. And certainly I could have been a victim along with dozens of other people that traveled on that train station at that time. So I am very gracious that the Elizabeth Police Department was able to be there at the time they were there and to also to prevent a tragedy from happening. Now, as far as uh, what the Muslim responsibility is, community responsibility in the wake of this, there's a couple of things. First, I think that the, the Muslim community or the Muslim leadership that is demanded to denounce this kind of uh, uh, action, that this is not Islam, this is not what Muslim is, or, or this is not the practice you know, uh, that what, what we what we see here is someone who is obviously uh, deranged and, and crazy. And so we, we cannot uh, sit idly by and let other people believe that this is what Islam is, that this is not what Islam is, this is not what it's about. So uh, how many, you know, I'm gonna ask you a direct question. You're a friend of mine and I've covered yeah. you over, over the years. I look back at some of my files, I go back to 2010 and 2011. Right. Following around as you do your gallon work of right. helping to mend a broken community. Right. But I'm gonna ask you from this point of view, how many times are we gonna have the same statement that is not reflecting the sword of Islam when, you know, if we go across the year, with people have said that over and over, but it seemed to be on the other end that it seemed to be that it, uh, there are Muslims that's doing these crimes. So how do you, how do one, different, you know, tell the difference? You well, know what well, I mean? I, uh, I think uh, just because... Is it a level of caution? You know, uh, a number one. of things. I think one, we have to, we have to define what's a Muslim. A Muslim is a person that submits his will to God, Allah, Creator. And the God Creator is, is a just God, is a fair God, is a peaceful God. Sure. So anybody that acts outside of that, no matter what they call themselves, mm -hmm. they're certainly not Muslim. No matter what they, family they came, what nationality they're from, sure. what landmark they came from, they're not Muslim if they are aggressive, are unjustifiably harm, harming people, that's, and, and doing it against the will of God, they are not Muslim. They are not uh, practitioners of Islam. These are deranged, we call them shaitan, these are devils, demons, and they need to be put away. This young man who's 28 years old, did just, he didn't just wake up in the morning and became what, what is presumed to be this outraged, uh, angered young man against the American government or the American system and became a, a supporter or uh, an instigator for the, the ISIL people, whoever is out there. This person, this attitude, this mindset developed. And it developed from, from his own ostracization, either within his own community or what have you, and create this kind of mindset. And he goes where a lot of young, young, young kids go. They go into the, to the internet, they start searching the internet, in his case, searching the first thing that he that he can relate to, and that is the, the people who profess the religion of Islam, which is false. The people who profess to be against the American government and, and want to harm innocent people, which is false. So these are the kind of things that happen with these kinds of, and I call him a young man, because this didn't have happen when he became 28. Certainly this developed over the years, this kind of mindset. So we have to, we in the Muslim community, have to be a, a very quick to denounce it and also be a part of the process of re-educating the community at large and also to the people in general. So that's why as a, as a Muslim person, Salam. as a person in the community, yeah. I want to make sure that message get out that this is not Islam. Well, Salam, you know that I'm a Christian and I'm as far away from Islam as I am from the state of Georgia at this point. And I don't say that to put it down, but I'm a Christian. I'm satisfied with my beliefs. But when we have issues in the community or in the country, in the world, as a reverend, when I do get to preach, I preach about those issues. Salam, what I want to ask you, in the box, I haven't been to the box, 
in the mosque that they talk the many languages. Mm -hmm. Is there Sheikh or Imam mm -hmm. Ayatollah mm -hmm. or, or minister uh -huh. that actually talk against this in their sermon? I don't know what you call sermon. Sure. I call same sermon. Thing, same thing. Call uh, sermon. Yeah. Is there, is there doing your, uh, your 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 time? Doing doing the sure, time. Sure. Sure. There's many imams in the mosque that speak against those uh, perpetrators are uh, just like, I mean, and I want to be clear that we have perpetrators in all religions. We have sure. to agree with that. I mean, David Koresh, remember him? You know what I'm saying? I could go on down the line on uh, many people of, of what happened in White Coat, Texas. They do it in the name of Christianity, sure. in the name of uh, Islam, in the name of whatever other religion that's out there. So sure. people have been doing this for years, for sure. decades, for hundreds of years, yeah. perpetrating what is not true. So yes, there are imams, there are um, Muslim ministers that, that speak directly and exclusively against this kind of uh, mindset. Sure. Because it's not Islam. Mm -hmm. It's not Islam. Uh, and also, also it teaches us also to speak against it as a congregation. If we see it in our neighborhood, we see it amongst our friends, we see it amongst our family members, then even the Quran teaches us to shout it down, to speak against it, and 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 that's exactly what we that's exactly what we uh, we we intend to do as a community, and as a as a as a community advocate, my job is to be more broader to reach out to the general community, whether it be the Christian community, the Jewish community, and the Muslim community, immigrant community, and, t and tell them that this is not this is not the true practice of Islam. This is this is some uh, deranged kind of crazed kind of attitude mindset that comes from a number of different uh, reasons and purposes. So once we get that part out of the way, we, we don't have to. Then we'll be more understanding about where we are. Okay. You was talking about some kind of uh, tomorrow. You having a press conference or something? Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, we reached out. We reached out to um, particularly the local imams in town here to come together, and some community leaders to come together to uh, to first denounce this situation, denounce this action, and at the same time uh, make a long-term commitment into spreading what what to the general public what is true Islam and what is not, and that's going to be. Uh, uh, Tuesday um, at my center, 513 Mission Street, a little bit at 1230 in the afternoon. Okay. Well, thank you, Swam. This is uh, thank you. Zachariah Jackson, fascinating. Thank you. Hey, Pastor.